Hello, peace be with you. Welcome back uh, to Humankind Both, Exploring the Middle Path. Uh, we were just having a vibrant discussion on um, inclusivity, having your voice heard, and also lack of leadership and what leadership means. So we can get right into it. You know, I was just thinking from before that if I think uh, from what the root of this is, you know, of our many of our societal ills, I always, of course, go back to the Quran as a Muslim and in the beginning when the creator had made his khalifa or representative on earth and then said to all of the the angels the governors of the laws of physics and all that that were um you know helping the universe expand and evolve and god said that you know bow down to and submit to adam right the you know this creature that i made that it's like that is like me um you know more more than anything else and they all did except one didn't and one said that well you made me a fire and you made him of clay i'm better than him so that you know he had that idea of supremacy this is That's, satan by the way this this, is, yeah <laughs> this is the figure that just became, by the way it happens yeah. to be satan yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> So to me, it's like, you know, the message that I get from this story in the Quran is that because the Quran is not historical, it's more uh, anecdotal and more about the message, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what I understand from this is that, um, you know, in this case, God had appointed Adam as the leader and told everybody else to kind of help him, obey him and things like this. And one dissented. Um, so what was this about? Was this something that, oh, you know, Satan is to be shunned and, you know, all like that? Or is it something that we have to understand in relativity, you know, um, and understanding that maybe we wouldn't have evolved or grown if there wasn't somebody who descended, you know, going to the tree of, uh, of, of good and evil, mm -hmm. you know, would we have still been adolescent or childlike? Uh that's an interesting question. Um, in my personal journey, I'm not a faith-based person at this time, um, but I do have a book that I started um, that has the title, Have Mercy. And one of the things in my personal evolution while I was exploring uh, a faith-based life uh, was the idea of you cannot believe in God, you cannot believe in Jesus unless you believe in the devil, unless there is that <laughs> counterpoint right. that enables you to know what is good. Mm. How do you know what is good? How do you f feel pain unless you know joy? You know what darkness, darkness is without, is without, without the light. And yeah. all of these um, dichotomies, mm -hmm. you know, in the past conversation, the dichotomy we spoke of was breaking us apart, but dichotomy in and of itself, like most things, is not a good or a bad thing. Correct. It is a condition, mm. um, and if you bring understanding to it, something will be revealed. And the whole idea of darkness and light plays out in literature over history, mm. it plays out in our life every day, it plays out in our personal understandings. So without some sense of s darkness or suffering or um, pain, of some sort there is no growth there is no becoming and that's in large part what humankind is is becoming mm -hmm. something evolving mm -hmm. uh, constantly but that's interesting because once you realize that point mm -hmm. you can't you can no longer look at it the same way yeah. you can't look at dark as truly evil now mm -hmm. yeah. it's something a part of the picture the yes. overall picture and you learn to accept and appreciate the darkness, the pain, the suffering, mm -hmm. the negative emotions that arise in us. We simply observe them rather than suppress them. Exactly. We observe them and we say, okay, that's anger, that's jealousy, that's a part of... But then once we realize the overall picture, what, hap what happens to the evolutionary process?